Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Uh, I appreciate you taking time out of your day or evening to watch my videos. It, today I'm going to do a um, first impressions, get ready with me eye look with this Nabla palette. And this one is the Secret palette. I, God, I'm blotchy. I um, recently purchased this from Ulta. They, within the last couple of months, started carrying Nabla, and I had heard good things about this company. I used my points to get this. I do believe it was $35, but I'll have that information down below. And these are, it's an Italian company, and it's made in Italy. And it's, it's an eyeshadow and pressed pigment palette. This is beautiful. And this is what the colors look like. I haven't even swatched these yet. So this is a true first impressions. So with my Luxie 250 large eye blending brush, I promise. It's this shade right there. I'm going to give you a heads up and let you know that I am going to be filming a lot of videos today. Um, they're, they're quick little ones. All right, now with my Luxie Taper Blending. I've had this one for so long that it's worn off. I'm going to go into Contigo. This one is really pigmented. Now I'm just going into the crease. Halloween thing. Thank you. I saw this meme last night and it says I'm gonna show my kids the movie 2012 and tell them I lived through that shit. <laughs> my Luxie Luxie um, 221 small taper blending. I am going to dip into Nabla Black. I'm putting this on the outer V. If you're wondering why I'm all splotchy, um, several times a week I will put my Tarte Knockout Tingling Treatment on my face after I have um, washed it. It's a really pretty black. I'm not going to lie about that one. with that same brush I'm going to dip into fantasize no I'm not I'm dipping into rosemary okay with that same brush I'm going to dip into the shade rosemary This color is beautiful. I don't think the camera is picking it up quite as much as I would like. Oops, I bumped ya. I 
will say, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm getting a lot of fallout. Which is fine because I haven't done my face yet, but it's just something to be aware of. With my finger, I'm going to go into um, Play Hard. Just to show you. It's really pretty. Okay guys, so here is my eye look thus far. I am going to be cleaning up the edges and then I am going to do my face makeup and then I'll be right back. All right guys, so let me go ahead and finish my eye look. I am going to use my Lancome Black Coffee Liner. Now I'm going to go back into the palette and I am going to use Contigo. And just go right under my lashes, my lash line. I've got um, a lot of color up here so I'm not going to um, put too much under my lash line and then I am going to use my Laura Mercier caviar volume um, mascara And then I think I do want a little bit of an inner corner highlight. I'm going to use my Chanel Heart Launch. I've been really liking this. You can tell it's been used. And I'm going to use my Luxie 246 Precision Crease Brush. I really like the way that that's turned out. Okay, so what do I think? I like the colors in the palette. I think they're very pretty. Um, I love this green duochrome, and it looks fabulous on top of the Nabla Black, and I've heard that that's one of the best black eyeshadows out there. But yes, I love Rosemary. If you use this palette, make sure that you have powder underneath your eye if you've already done your face. And if you um, just be aware or do your foundation after you've done your eyes, have a lot of fallout. That's typically what I do. So um, I, again, will post the price down below for this palette. I did use my points to get this. I like it thus far. Um, so I'm going to say it's a winner and if my thoughts ever change on it, I'll let you know. But the color story is very pretty. I would more than likely buy another Nabla palette. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful for you 
and deciding whether or not this is a palette you would like to purchase. If you haven't done so, I don't know why you haven't. It hurts me. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, there's a bell notification and that will let you know if you hit if you hit on that bell notification, it'll let you know when I upload my next video. I love comments. So leave your comments, questions, um, feedback down below. I love getting them. They make my day. I typically respond within 48 hours of getting them and I just had I love interacting with my YouTube family. I have the best YouTube family and I appreciate every one of you so much. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye. Much love.